Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of Getting Started with SolidWorks. On today's video, we have in here again our fuselage from a couple of videos ago, and we're going to use this to learn how to use, well, how to uh, do engineering drawings. What are engineering drawings, you might be wondering? Well, we can go here to Chrome to take a look at that. It's something like this. Mostly, this one is actually a pretty accurate representation of what they are. So we've got a part like that one, and then we can, you know, show all the dimensions and the relevant features from our, from our work. So without further ado, let's get started. So we can go here to File, and then in here, make drawing form part. So that's, let's see where that takes us. Um, I believe it should be loading now. Oh, there we go. All right. This is video seven. So let's see what uh, we'll definitely want to bring the the front in here. Uh, and then oh, I just want to like zoom in a little bit because oh, there we go. Now we can see it better. And then just automatically as I move my mouse in here in all the different directions, it will show us different, like different angles from this thing. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely want the side view of this thing. And then we'll probably want to have like over there the diagonal view. So I think we can probably leave it with like three views in there. Just bring, you can, you click in there, yeah, it should let us drag this. I'm going to leave that in there. Well, this one, I want to put over to the corner. You see, it's like orange. There we go. Now we should be able to move it. We'll leave it there. Um, we can probably change the size of this thing um, using this in there. But imagine I go for one. Let's see, we have, um, yeah, these are all pre-established sizes. We go for let's see, one. Two, how would that look like? Yeah, that, that's too big. So we'll need to keep it down to one, four, and there. All right, so I think we are like kind of happy with this configuration. So essentially, just like in a regular model, we can go here to sketch, smart dimension, and we literally click in every one of the features that we want to provide a dimension of. So for instance, I can go over there and say, all right, we, we want to make that be eight inches. Uh, but you know what, before actually doing that, we can go here to, I believe it's tools or, let's see, where is it? Uh, options, and then in options, we can click, uh, there's like different features that we can change. What I'm going to change, let's see if I find it. Uh, I don't know, I believe it's in document property. All right, here it is. Instead of using ANSI, I'm going to use ISO, which is a, it's like a different you know, classification system. It's just like everything will be parallel. Yeah, so we have that uh, our overall shape in there. It's A. Then, oh, let's zoom in again. We can literally select that line and say, all right, I want that is, of course, 4.86 you can select the the lower line it just doesn't allow us to do that Four point thirty two, and we, we can nicely you know establish that and in fact we can move that a little bit more that way it doesn't mess up with our drawing then we can say all right let, let's do the same thing over here on the up one upper one oh Oh, we're not in smart dimension. Uh, yeah, that seems appropriate. I might make that one go a little down. There we go. We'll do the same thing in there. Let's see. Something like that. Because now what we can do is the fun. We can. I can tell you the distance. These are all the measurements that, that we have taken already. And we can go from there to there and say, all right, I want 
that is supposed to be 0 0.4. Oh, interesting. Let me go here back into. Come on. Did it change that? Yes. Uh, Oh, it seems okay. I just wanted that to be parallel, but uh, I can't find now how to do the perhaps it will go through to customize. Uh, no, well, it doesn't matter, we'll, we'll just leave it like that for now. Oh uh, no, um, it's my dimension. Now we can say, all right, from oh. From here to there, that was a distance of 276. Well, I'm, not, well, I'm sorry, I, I need to try once again something that I'm. What if this was ANSI? Oh, there we go. So it was ANSI, the, the original one. Now it's going to be parallel. So there you see how it changes. Anyway, so we'll, we'll leave like that like that. And you can provide as many dimensions as you, as you think it might be necessary. Um, you can make... Uh, we can provide a dimension for the inner... Let's see, there we go. Uh, let's provide a dimension for the second one. Oh. Some of them are providing radii, some of them are providing... Interesting, I believe if I eliminate that, I should be able to do it again. Let's see. Oh, it's still radii. Uh-huh. Hmm. And there I can type stuff in there. Um, see whether... I'm just gonna... Hmm. Well, I'm just like playing around with it. I just wanna be consistent, but it is the same. You, you'll still understand what's happening. It doesn't... Really matter. Now these are all of our, and then yes, I as we saw below it, we have the biggest radius diameter is eight. Um, now I'm curious to see whether. Oh, that's why it says radii because it's. Doesn't matter. All right. Then we can probably provide a dimension for that. So let's zoom in in here and say, oh, I want that dimension. Oh, oh, let's see. We can select that line. Oh, there we go. This point seventeen, but we could probably. I'll save that dimension for now. If you click in that dimension for for instance there, you could increase probably uh, the level of accuracy by a little bit. You can say, all right, I want that. But just for it to be consistent, I'm going to leave everything at two decimal places. Oh, well, there, there we go. But, uh, but that, that's possible if you wanted to change your your units. Uh, all right, so we got that in there. Now let's provide a length for that. So we have a view. Uh, oh, let's zoom, let's zoom. Uh, I'll go here again to, all right, smart dimension. Let's dimension that. Um, hmm. 
maybe go up all the way to where that eight is, that way we are consistent too. There we go. Oh. There we go. I know here's my dimension. So that we know that that is just, you know, just to confirm, might be a little bit redundant, but yes, we know it's eight. And let's give a dimension to our window so we can choose that one and that one. And oh, all right, so that will tell us how tall those are. Then we can say, well, how the diameter of this thing is. That's a radius 0.33, okay. And then we can probably go, um, and we can even draw lines in here if we wanted to, just to have as a reference. And I'll do one right now to show you, for instance, I'm gonna draw a line that goes from there to there. The reason why I do that is because I want to show what's the distance between uh, like two windows, I have to, well, I'll just leave it driven, doesn't matter. Uh, oh, there we go. And then, all right, so we, we have this like that. Then you could probably, if we go back to our sketch, you could probably like create section views. Uh, but we don't really need that because this is already a section, so we're just like, seeing it like that. But we could probably, you know, cut, uh, we could do a line that goes like that, and we can have a view in here that is like that section view. Right, so we got the, the main heart of the engineering drawing done. The next next thing that comes is we need to fill up this box in here. So that was video seven, so that was a couple of videos ago, so it studied it up. So if I'm not mistaken, you right click and you click in where it says edit sheet format. And now all of this appears. You'll see you might not need much of the lines that are in here. So you can, these are literally lines. These are lines that you, you use those lines to draw these ones. So you can click in there and just like begin eliminating stuff, which is essentially what I'm gonna do right now. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, I just want to just stay with this section, all of that. So you'll see. Uh, oh, this your view modifier. Uh, pan. All right, that's the only thing that we can do. We can just pan. Uh, let's keep on. Oh, and here what I'm gonna do is I click at that point and I'll just drag it all the way up to there. With the rest, I'll continue. Well, just for some reason, it's still there, so I'll I'll work on that in a moment. Okay, I'll be deleted. Right. Oh, you could just go like this and eliminate quicker. Uh, let's try again. Let's make that here. Then we can go here and say, all right, let's call that fuselage. Uh, let's see where it's fit. It does fit. Otherwise, you can you can change here the font, the like the font size in there. Oh, well, that's the actually. So let's call this be. Let let's say this is the AR one model. And then it, over there, there we go. Now we can actually give this a title. So we call it uh, airplane. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fuselage. Uh, let's see where there's center. Let's move that a little bit like that. So that's gonna be our title. Uh, oh. Then let's see, uh, drawn. We can put like a, a letter. Check. Uh, these are those boxes they are already there so we just need to fill them up if, if, if you need to 
Otherwise, you can also eliminate them. That was simplicity. I'm gonna put A's and B's in here. Uh, the, the handiest letter. Nope. Yeah, you need to double click. Otherwise, it won't let you. Write anything. And here, where you have comments, you could write literally anything. Uh, so let's go here to annotation and uh, let's bring let's write a note. So we just right there we can create a note and there just say this uh, draw uh, this this few slash is not to scale. You can just do command A and select all of that. Let's make that way smaller. Oh, uh, let's do it like that. That seems reasonable. And then make that bigger. Or oh, let's, oh, let's leave it there. And then there we go. Let's make that bigger like that. Let's just let's draw to scale. And then once we are done with this, you just click in there, right click, and you say uh, edit sheet. So you'll go back to editing. Our usual stuff. Let's see whether we're all good. Urban, urban entry, that's all right. Oh, let's see. We can, yeah, let's center that a little bit. We can probably move that guy over there. That way, you'll see sometimes that. And you have many times a little free space so you could say like in here you could add probably a note and you go here to I don't know and I'll say something like um, imagine you're giving instructions on imagine you, you're just given this drawing right and you need to uh, model this in solid words so you can say um, few syllabus so or let, let's write it like that so uh, notes on more uh, well it doesn't modeling all right so let's say I will go here like uh, few scissors windows are extrude cut and you can go um, The fuselage ribs are replicated using a linear pattern. Um, change the material properties to aluminium, and then we can. You know, we can make that a little bit bigger. So that way we have like more space there occupied. And then, yeah, it'll, we can just like click escape, otherwise something like that. Another one will be created. Then I'm gonna create another one that says date. Um, the date of today is July 15, 2020. I'll leave that in there. Uh, we can Oh, we should, in a normal world, we should be able to click in there and just move it around. Oh, there we go. Oh, just you there. All right, and then uh, let's say you're happy with all of what you have in here. It looks quite okay. We can just here go to File, Save As. Uh, yeah, Update Abuse, it doesn't matter. 
And then, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll save it and getting started with SolidWorks in our folder. I'll save it as a, where is it? A PDF. What is, do we have a, oh, that? oh, I believe it should. Oh, there we go. I didn't see it. So let's save that. And then let's take a look. Let me just look it up in here. Um, I believe it should be video seven. Oh. Well, we can find it. Give it a second for this to load and all right, here we got it. This is our drawing. And then you can always come back to the original one and continue editing it. Uh, well, I hope you guys learned something useful today and I hope to see you soon in more videos to come. Have a good one. Bye bye.